Okay, so we are going to start to um, review Unit 4. We won't finish um, the review in this video. Of the, we, won't we won't finish the review of the whole unit in this video, but we will start with uh, Lesson A. All right, and we will continue in our next week's video lessons. All right, so let's start looking at uh, Unit 4, Lesson A. Let's start by looking in our student book. All right, and in our student book, we'll be on page 44. This is just to remind us what what uh, Unit 4 was about. Okay, so Unit 4 was about health. All right, and we started off by looking at Stanley. Stanley went to the doctor's office, and Stanley wasn't feeling well. He was overweight and tired and just not doing well. All right, and his doctor asked him about his his uh, routine, and he said that well, basically he works a lot and he doesn't exercise and he doesn't eat the right foods. So. Um, his doctor said, hey, you need to exercise more, you need to stop working as much, and to eat better, all right, take better health, uh, better, um, better care of yourself, okay? So these are some of the things that we're going to be talking about uh, when we're talking about health. So when we turn, a, uh, turn in our workbooks, which is the white book, right? Um, we turn to page 42. This um, starts us off with a lesson A in our workbook. All right. So let's dive into it. Page 42. Lesson A, listening. All right. So number one is read and complete the paragraph, then listen. Okay, so as we go down in this paragraph, um, we're going to use these words in the word box. But let's make sure that we understand how to pronounce these words before we actually plug them into our paragraph. Okay, so the first word is advice. Advice. Second word is diet. Diet. Next word is exercise. Exercise. Next word is pressure. Pressure. Next word is tired. Tired. And then the last word is weight. Weight. Okay? So now we know how to pronounce these words. We can start plugging them into our paragraph. Um, I've also put the barcode, uh, expanded it a little bit more um, so that you can sc scan the barcode to listen to the paragraph as we go through it. And maybe that'll help us to uh, better understand what we're reading. Okay? So let's read. Dear Alice, my husband Alex is an office assistant. He drives to work every day. He works on the 10th floor, and he always takes the elevator. His diet, they've done that one for us, his diet is not very healthy. For example, for lunch he usually eats pizza or a hamburger and fries. On the weekend, he often, often eats a lot of ice cream and cookies. He doesn't blank much, okay? So I said he doesn't exercise much. In fact, he usually takes a walk only once a week on Saturday. He never rides his bike. He is worried. Uh, he is worried because his blood blank is high, and he has gained 15 pounds. Okay, so for number three, I put pressure. Okay, he is worried because his blood pressure is high 
and he has gained 15 pounds. He knows he has to lose some blank. I put weight. He knows he has to lose some weight. He has also been very blank lately. I put tired. He has also been very tired lately. What should he do? Sign worried in Seattle. Okay, so in reply, dear worried in Seattle, your husband needs to, to make an appointment to see his doctor so he can ask the doctor for some blank. And I put advice. Okay. Your husband needs to make an appointment to see the to see his doctor so that he can ask the doctor for some advice. Signed Alice. Okay. So that's what I've got for uh, com uh, completing the paragraph. Let's move on to number two. Number two, circle the correct answers. Use the information in exercise one. All right, so we're going to use this information to complete number two. The first one is done for us. Alex always takes the elevator. Okay. Number two, Alex does not. I chose. Uh, I, cho I chose. B. Exercise enough. Okay. He does take he does take a walk, but only once a week on Saturdays. So that's not correct. But he does not exercise enough. Okay. Number three. Alex is worried because I chose B. He gained. He has gained weight. All right. Number four. Alice says Alex needs to B. Talk to his doctor. All right. So Alex needs to talk to his doctor. Those are the answers that I got. <clears throat> Hopefully you got the same. All right. So let's move on. Page 43 in our workbook. All right. So in page 43, number three, we need to complete the chart. The chart is two columns. Um, one, the first column are healthy activities. The second column are unhealthy activities. Okay. Before we complete the chart, let's look at these phrases to make sure that we know how to say them correctly. Okay. First one is check your weight. Check your weight. Next one is drink a lot of soda. Drink a lot of soda. Next one is eat a lot of hamburgers. Eat a lot of hamburgers. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat fish. Eat fish. Gain 20 pounds. Gain 20 pounds. Go to bed late. Go to bed late. And then the last one is ride a bicycle. Ride a bicycle. Okay. So now that we know how to say these correctly, now we can put them in the correct columns, whether they are healthy activities or unhealthy activities. So the first one is done for us. Check your weight is under healthy activities. I also wrote under healthy activities, eat breakfast, eat fish, and ride a bicycle. Okay? 
Under unhealthy activities, I wrote, drink a lot of soda. Eat a lot of hamburgers. Gain 20 pounds and go to bed late. All right, so those were my answers. Let's move on. Number four, complete the sentences. Now before we complete the sentences, let's look at the words in the word box. Okay, and let's make sure we know how to pronounce them correctly. First word is diet. Diet. Next word is exercise. Exercise. Next word is healthy. Healthy. Medication. Medication. And then the last word is weight. Weight. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be completing the um, the conversation. Okay. So first one is done for us. First person says, Pat eats too many hamburgers. He needs to change his diet. Second person says, I know. Okay, let's look at number two. First person says, Alex has high blood pressure. He needs to blank. I said, he needs to take medication. Okay. Second person says, that's too bad. Number three, I've gained 20 pounds. I need to blank. I chose, I need to lose weight. Second person says, you should try going to the gym three times a week. Number four, Ali sits at work all day. The next person says, he needs to blank regularly. Okay, so I chose exercise. He needs to exercise regularly. Number five, I really want to stay blank. I chose healthy. I really want to stay healthy. The next person says, then you need to follow your doctor's advice. Okay, so those are the answers that I got. Hopefully you got something similar. All right, let's move on. Number five, listen then write P for the things that Stan did in the past and N for things that he does now. Okay, so if you don't have your book, you can scan the barcode to the right and then listen to the conversation and then take some time to write P for the things Stan did in the past and in for things that he does now. All right, so let's take some time, pause the video, scan your barcode, listen to the conversation, and answer the questions with it, either a P or an N. All right, let's do that now. Okay, so hopefully you had some time to listen to the, to the conversation, um, scanning by scanning the barcode, and then taking time to write down P for the things Stan did in the past and N for the things he does now. All right, so let's go over our answers. So number one is done for us. Walks, uh, walk up the stairs. So that is an N, that's something that Stan does now. Present. Eat fast food for lunch. I chose P, 
And that's something that Stan did in the past. Take the elevator. I put P. That's something that Stan did in the past. Have soup for lunch. I put down in. That's something that Stan does now. Eat breakfast. I put down in. That's something that Stan does now. Go to the gym. I put down in. That's something that Stan does now. Work 12 hours a day. I put down P. That is something that Stan did in the past. And then leave for work at 5.30. I put down in. That's something that Stan does now. Okay? So that is uh, what I got from my answers. Hopefully you got the same. All right. So let's move on. So now we're going to move into lesson B for unit review of unit four. All right. And when uh, before we start with this, with uh, looking at some of the uh, the examples. Let's talk about the pa uh, the present perfect tense, okay? Because we use the present perfect tense in in unit four. So let's remember the present perfect tense is a verb tense, which is used to show that an activity or an action has taken place once or many times before now, or once or many times in the past. The present perfect <clears throat> tense is most frequently used to talk about experiences or changes that have taken pay, have taken place. Of course, these things have taken place in the past. Okay? The present perfect tense is formed using has or have plus the past participle. Questions are indicated by inverting or switching the subject and has have. <clears throat> Negatives are made with not. Okay, so let's look at the example. The example is um, for statements, you have seen that movie many times. You have seen. Okay. Subject, uh, I'm sorry, have, has, and then seen, <clears throat> your past participle, okay? With your questions, you're going to invert the subject and the has, have, right? So with a statement, it was subject, has, or have, and then our past participle. Now, for the question is, have you, right? Have you seen that movie many times? We've changed the two. We swapped them. All right. And then our negative is have uh, you have not seen that movie many times. All right. Because negatives are made with not. All right. So now we have reminded ourselves about how to use um, the present perfect tense. Let's look in our in our student book. All right, on page forty six. All right. So now that we know we're using the present perfect, let's see how the book wants us to use it. Okay. So our grammar focus is recently and lately. So they want us to use recently and lately in the present perfect tense. Okay. Use recently and lately with the present perfect to suggest that something was done in the past, but not too long ago. Okay. Something that was done in the past, but not too long ago. So when we ask questions and we can answer statements, I mean, we have questions and statements. All right. 
Questions are, have you gained weight recently? Remember how we switch the have, has, and the subject? Right. Um, has Sheila gone to the gym lately? Okay, so we're using recently and lately. Have they seen the doctor recently? Okay, now let's look at statements. I have gained weight recently. Sheila hasn't gone to the gym lately. No, they haven't seen him recently. Okay, so let's also remind ourselves about the part, past participles. All right, with regular verbs, past participle, it really doesn't make much change, right? If we have the root word check, past participle checked. Exercise, exercised. Gain, gained. Start, started. Visit, visited. Wait, waited, or wait. I'm sorry, wait. I'm sorry, wait, wait. Okay, irregular verbs. That's where things get a little crazy. This is where we have to practice more. Okay, past participles of the root verb eat is eaten, right? Give given, go, gone, lose, lost, see, seen, sleep, slept, okay? So for these, we might have to go ahead and um, scan our barcode here for, uh, for the watch and watch a, a short video to see how we use recently and lately when we're talking about the past, um, uh, the present par uh, perfect, the present perfect tense. Okay? So now here's the homework. For this one, uh, for this video, we're going to give homework for next week. Alright? So for homework, we're going to practice. Alright? So, in our workbook, we're going to start working on page 44 and 45 all right 44 and 45 and when we start our next video um, a, a week next week then we will start looking at um, the we will start looking at um, lesson B, present perfect, all right, and how we use recently and lately. Okay. Okay. So we've shortly, uh, quickly, we've gone over a little bit of unit four. All right. We did lesson A. We're going to um, go, go into lesson B for homework. Okay. So, so far for our summary, we've, we've talked about health, okay? And we will be talking about healthy habits and routines, okay? Healthy habits and routines. And for next week, okay, we will continue reviewing Unit 4 and finish Unit 5, all right? And that will get us to the point where we're up to date, up to speed on our entire uh, class. All right, everything that we've covered from unit one to unit 10, okay, in our semester. So, like I said, if you have any questions over what we've talked about so far, uh, let me know in WhatsApp or we can talk about it in our Zoom meetings. And of course, you can always email me. All right, so until next week. Um, just let me know if you have any problems, and I hope you have a great week, and continue to practice your English. All right? I know it's hard, because we're doing this video series instead of being face-to-face, -face, so um, 
just keep practicing as much as you can and I will see you in our Zoom meeting. All right, take care.